Okay, so welcome to this fantastic place, which is the Atacama Desert. Why we are here? Because we're seeing that understanding this kind of environment give us some hints on how life has adapted here, that at some moment came from the Pacific Ocean, which is the one place we're going to explore now, thanks to the Smith Ocean Institute. So I'm interested in comparing how the microbes of the desert compare to the microbes on the sea floor of this region. My collaborator, chief scientist Armando Azuabustas, found that there are microbes in the desert that appear to be similar to those that we might find in the deep ocean and are part of very ancient lineages of bacteria. So I'm really interested in the comparison between these two very, very different adjacent systems. Life on Earth requires organic molecules to make building blocks of life, some type of energy that's continuous uh, to support life and water, so as a solvent. There are different thoughts on where and how life originated. Uh, one of the theory is that life originated from hydrothermal vents on the deep ocean floor. Um, it's difficult to have a definitive answer of how life started on Earth. We, we don't know a lot because there's no time machine for us to travel back and see, oh, this is how life started. The best we can do is to collect data from the planet Earth, from like what we know of the life today. Studying origins of life on Earth can inform us of where else to look for life in the universe. Microbes serve this incredible role in ecosystems where they take non-living stuff like minerals, gases, water, and transform it into substances that are available to life. Okay, so they, they create this invisible world all around us that makes all of the life that we can see possible. Astrobiology can be simplified down to the search for the origin of life, the expansion of life, and the possibilities of life elsewhere. So studying the bottom of the ocean allows us to better understand how we would go about detecting life once we do leave our planet and go to other water worlds. If we find life on another planet, we're fairly confident that we will, at, at a minimum, find something microscopic. If you think of it in terms of life on Earth, life on Earth was microscopic for the first three billion years of the history of life on this planet. And it was only fairly recently, in terms of geology, that we got living things that were big enough for us as human beings to see. So life has been on Earth for 3.5 billion years, and for three of those, there was nothing but microbes. When we think of life, we tend to think of having to eat food and breathe oxygen and you know, all of the things that we need to do as animals. Microbes can breathe metals. They can do just about anything that we have theorized that life can do. So when we think of life in the ocean, we think of fish whales and seals and seaweed, but the vast majority of all of the life in the sea is actually too small for us to see. And just in terms of sheer numbers, there are more bacteria in the ocean than there are stars in the universe. These microbes are why we're studying the Takama, why we're here on Earth to begin with, and who knows, maybe they are out there somewhere too.